welcome everybody back to my channel. I hope everyone's going to have a nice long weekend. So today we're going to be doing uh, channeled messages from your past on loved ones. So the first pile here is with the clear quartz. Second pile is with the angel aura or opal aura. And this one, third pile is the selenite. So whenever you are ready, the timestamps will be in the description box below. Thanks. Welcome everybody who picked pile number one with the clear quartz crystal here. So we're going to see what channel messages we can get from your past on loved ones today. It says, although you may not understand it now, everything happens for a reason. Now I have no pain. It's beautiful where I am. And they're saying I am not dead. So I feel with this person that had passed away, this could have definitely been somebody's soulmate. You guys were fit together so perfectly in this life and maybe they're sending you a lot of messages here through birds or doves or maybe you guys had doves or something even at your wedding this person you guys just fit together so perfectly and they and they were saying that you may not understand why this happened to them I feel that they could have also passed away from a terminal illness as well. I feel that this could have also been a lady that had passed away I'm picking up on. Maybe you guys used to really like to go to the lake together. Maybe you used to watch sunsets together I'm getting. Maybe her favorite color was yellow or she had a very vibrant personality. She had, was a very caring and loving person. And like I said, you're getting a lot of signs through birds, I'm feeling. Like she was, I feel she was a very carefree person as well. So inspire passion. Just ask. I feel that she was the type of person that you could ask her anything like if you needed a helping hand she was there to help you i feel that she was always giving she had a very a lot of passion for life and then we have love she really loved life a lot i feel that this person could have also had maybe darker hair as well like i said it was definitely some type of, of either somebody's wife that had passed away that I'm getting and it's just there was just so many opportunities in her life that she still wanted to do she was kind of the peacemaker in the family as well I'm getting so we have financial constraints we have a broken heart And then we have door to romance. So yes, this is somebody's uh, partner that had passed away for sure. And you don't need to worry about financial situations. I feel that that you're they've left you a good amount of money that you won't be suffering financially. They are dying of a broken heart, though. It's just you've it's, since you've lost them. You're just not sure if you could ever really love somebody ever again. And this is going to be really hard on you, I feel. And I don't feel that this person was that old. 33, 35 years old, I'm getting. Their birthday could have also been September 13th, I'm picking up. Or they also could have died September 13th. It just depends how that date resonates with you.
but you are truly heartbroken from this person's passing like like that they're not in any pain anymore like i said this person may have passed away from cancer as well i'm getting but they died very peacefully so let's take a look here so we have new beginnings so i feel that there's going to be some new beginnings for you you may also see the number one a lot as well. So there's going to be new opportunities coming for you. There's still romance for you, I feel, but a little bit further down the line. You need to feel and go through this grieving process first. So we have 63 parenting. So may, you guys may have had children together. So your focus is going to be on your children now and try to help them heal through this grief as well. So we have 33 communication. So like, I, I feel like she's definitely, she's maybe 33 years old or something. It's like, it, she wasn't very old, this lady. And like I said, she was maybe a mother as well. And you need to communicate with your children about her and remember her and really just focus on how she lived and not really how she had passed. So we have truth. So the truth is going to be told here. Maybe you don't really wanna tell your children exactly how, they, how she had passed away But for some of you, I'm also picking to um, this person may have died by taking their own life as well. And maybe one day you will tell the, your children truthfully how this person had passed away. So we have fertility. So I believe that maybe one day that you will also have more children with somebody else or you are going to start something new as well. Like the, the world's going to open up for you again. And then we have home. So maybe you will be changing homes. Maybe you can't live where this person, you and your wife may have lived because maybe that's where she may have taken her life or that could have been the place where she had passed away from a terminal illness. I'm picking up different things, but just focus on your children and letting them heal. So I'm going to pull some letters just to see what initials or something that just may resonate with you. So we have the letter F, we have E, we have W, so we have few. So maybe there was a very few days or very few conversations that you had had with this person about their illness or maybe you couldn't really talk to them. It was maybe hard, maybe that's where the communication came up. So we have S and Q. For some reasons, this person's name may have been Sam, Samantha, as well. So we have another S. We have W, T. We have the letter K. And we have the letter S again. So maybe you guys, maybe used to have a little bit of a small talk once in a while, but maybe she didn't really come out and fully communicate with you, I'm feeling. And maybe that's why it's hard. Because maybe she didn't want to talk about it. So I'm going to pull some uh, channeled messages here as well. Let's see what else we can pick up. So we have Dayton. So this may be a child's name that they may have or that may name may resonate with you. This person may have been a Virgo as well. 
we have black hair. They could have had black hair. It could have been just one year since they had passed away. They're saying you were my best friend. So she, you guys were each other's best friends. And she means, she means a lot. She wants you to think that you meant a lot to her. You've been there. You've been through a lot. So she knows that you've been through a lot and it's just really hard because she sees the struggles that you are going through. So I'm going to pull some charms now as well. So just let you know that she is an angel from watching over you right now with the angel wing and the angel here. I believe that you hear a lot of messages through music. Some may have planted a tree in the honor of her memory. That's what I'm getting. So there's a lot of stability. There's going to be a lot of changes coming for you, though. And there's going to be a, someone always watching over you. So she's always here for you, watching over you. And she wants you to take care of the kids. And she's, she's okay. So she just wants you to let you know that. So these are all the messages that I have for this pile. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number two with the Opalite Aura. Opal Aura. So we're going to see what channel messages we're going to get from your past on loved ones today. So it says, remember me by the happy memories we created. I always give you a kiss good night. We will be together again. And it says I watch over you every day. I feel there that there's you get a lot of signs. You see their hearts in the clouds or you see just Maybe they used to really like to draw hearts as well. I feel that this could have maybe been a child that had passed away as well. And maybe you would keep a lot of pictures of, of this person around, a child. Maybe it was a girl that had passed away. Like your heart was just so full when she was here. I feel that you guys maybe used to go to the lake together and just have a lot of fun there. There's just so much emotion running high still for you. I feel there's a lot of tears that are falling. But she watches over you every single day. And she always gives you a kiss goodnight. You will see each other again. So it says intuitive nudges. We have study. And then we have memories. So definitely you keep going over the memories in, you, in your head that you have of her. Maybe she had passed away in an accident. I feel that this could have been very sudden. But she's maybe always sending you intuitive nudges. So she's maybe sending you signs and maybe telling you to listen to your intuition more. But maybe you, you also light a candle in, in her honor all the time and just to remember her. And just it's, it's just really hard for you because maybe you keep replaying the events in your mind. And it's just, it's very hard for you. So she feel, she's saying that she's going to let you know when it's time for you just to let go. Like you just have to be strong though. So we have yin and yang. 
This also could have been even an older daughter I'm feeling that I'm picking up that she may have died on the lake from a boating accident or something. She also could have been young as well, maybe the age around 22 to 25. So we have Six Chakra Archangel Metatron. And then we have Door to Value. So she just wants you to know that she did live her life while she was here. She was very adventurous that I'm feeling. Very spontaneous. You just kind of have mixed emotions because your world is torn apart right now. You're really trying to understand why this has happened. And it just keeps replaying in the back of your mind. I'm also getting to that maybe she was studying in school. So this also could have been a younger child, but this also could have been another person who was a, a woman as well in her 20s. And she was maybe studying as well in, in university. So we have manifestation with the number eight. So you may be seeing a lot of eights around you. Maybe she's helping you try to manifest something in your life. Just to try to bring you comfort after, after her passing. So we have number seven, personal growth. So she's maybe trying to, this is making you grow as a person after her passing. It's your own personal growth to get through this grief in your own life. So we also have physical activity. So I feel that this person was extremely active all the time. They really like to be outside, really like to do things, keep themselves really fit. Their favorite color also could either have been purple or pink as well. They may have been born on the 7th or 8th either in August, July or August. So we have compassion. So this person had a lot of compassion for the world. I feel they were such a kind-hearted person. They liked animals, they liked people. They were just so fun, loving to everyone that they, they met in their life. Very compassionate. Finding. So you're trying to find yourself af again after that they had passed away as well but they want to know that they're giving you hope and just to make sure that you just keep on track and it's going to be okay that you guys will see each other again one day so we have home so you always felt like maybe she, this, maybe she still lived with you while, while she was going to university. She lived at your home. But you guys spent a lot of time together at home. Maybe you guys talked a lot. Maybe you guys were best friends too. So it's just, it's just really hard knowing that she's not there anymore in your home to share those happy memories with. So I'm going to pull some initials as well here. So we have the W. We have S. We have R, we have V, we have A, we have a C. She could have drove a CRV car as well. For some reason, she's saying you're welcome. For some reason, maybe she was always very polite as well. But she... Yeah, so like I'm saying, like she, she was very smart, very polite girl. She always just had a zest for life, I feel. So I'm just going to pull a few more initials. We have H, W, and we have D. So maybe those initials may resonate with you, some may not. So I'm going to pull some channeled messages as well here so 
So we have missing you. So this person really misses you and I, you also miss them as well. They said they're happy though. They want you to know that they are happy where they are. We have Hawaii. So maybe you guys went to Hawaii together as well. She may have had blonde hair. So we have anxious. So maybe this person may have had a bit of anxiety or maybe this is what you're going through right now. So we have a beautiful soul. She did have a very beautiful soul that I feel as well. Just, just very beautiful. And then we have mountains and trees. So maybe this person really liked to go into the mountains or like I said, she was a very outdoorsy person I'm getting. So I'm going to pull some uh, charms right now. So she wants to know she's going to be steering you in the right direction. You're going to be getting a message very soon. Maybe something, maybe she'll send you a message in the clouds or something, but just pay attention here. She was a very peaceful person, I feel, as well, like she had a big heart. There was always a lot of stability in her life. She grew up in a very good family. But she is watching over you every single day. And you guys really miss each other with the hearts here. You're definitely going to definitely hear a communication from somebody about her. Or she's going to reach out to you through signs and symbols. Maybe flicker the lights on and off. But she, I feel that she always handmade stuff for you. Like she always maybe made you little things or birthday cards or something that was always especially made just for you because you were very special to her. And she just, she wants you to know that she misses you and loves you every single day. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number three with the selenite stone here. So we're going to see what channel messages are going to come through from your past on loved ones. So it says, I was met by so many loving people. I am learning over here. I feel right away this is somebody's grandpa that had passed away. It says, you are never alone. Yeah, I feel like this is someone's definitely somebody's grandpa. It says, I have a new understanding. So maybe this person wasn't really afraid to die. Maybe they were ready to pass away. They have a whole new understanding where they are right now. But they're saying you're never ever alone. And also, like this person maybe either lived on the East Coast, maybe lighthouses, maybe they were from the Maritimes or somewhere down East. But this person really loved to learn. Like they were so knowledgeable. They, like maybe you guys would sit together at night and he would tell you all the stories and just tell you everything from his past. In his childhood and there were just such fascinating stories that he would tell you so we have listen this person was an extremely good listener if you needed to talk to him about anything he would be there to listen for you it doesn't matter what time of day it was so we have soul solitude this person had a very kind soul and he was just very loving, caring, and just very easy to read. He just, he was, had such a kind empathy for everything. Animals, other people. He was just a very, very big people person as well. So we have new beginnings. So they just want you to know new beginnings are coming for you. You're going to have a lot of opportunities still coming your way. 
like I said, maybe you are very connected to your grandpa here. So just sit quiet. I know that you may be really hurting because you were very close to him, but you guys, he was very understanding, like listening. He would always listen to you. So we have the thinking man. He was always thinking. He was a very deep thinker. I feel like he always thought about things like philosophies and life and just everything that maybe a lot of people didn't discuss. He would always have very deep conversations with people. So we have a woman holding a coin. So you may have inherited some money from your grandpa. I feel that maybe he had left you some money. He could have also had an animal that he had maybe uh, let you have. Maybe he had a black cat or he had an, uh, another type of cat as well. So we have 41, seventh chakra Archangel Ariel. So this is going to really, maybe you have dreams of him as well. So maybe you dream of him a lot. And he comes to you and maybe he's going to tell you some messages. Or maybe you're also doing some... Maybe if you're having a hard time in life, maybe he comes through to you. And he's, he's always sitting with you because he says you are never alone. So whenever you're down or anything, he is beside you, even sitting beside you sometimes. Because he wants you to know that you're never alone. So we have spiritual career 78. He may have been 78 when he had passed away as well. But maybe he taught you a lot about spiritual stuff when he was here. So maybe he has taught you things that it really opened up your eyes and maybe you didn't really understand before. So we have creativity. So maybe you are a very creative person or he was exactly very creative in this life. Maybe he was a very handy man. He could make things, do anything, read a lot of books, very intelligent. He may also been born in, the, in March as well. So we have the number 61, self-love. He wants you to love yourself though. Like just really take care of yourself because he knows that you're, you've hurt since his passing. And he wants you to just take care of yourself and know that you're never alone, like he said. Just always think of him and the happy times you guys had together. So we have clarity. So maybe things are making a lot more sense to you now, or maybe things are going to seem more clearly later. But maybe you're still confused with everything after he had passed away that you just... But things will come to you. Things will seem seem a little more clear. So we have dreams. Like I do believe that you dream of him and he sends you messages through your dreams. And he was a very, maybe very spiritual person as well. So he can communicate with you on the astral realm. So we'll just take a look here. So then we have healing. He just really wants you to heal from, from his passing because he knows that you're very you're hurting. You could be a granddaughter of his and you guys were extremely close. So just think of him and just heal. Or maybe you're also in a healing profession as well, I'm getting. So I'm just going to pull some initials here. So we have the letter R. We have the letter X. So maybe he was on a lot of prescriptions as well, I'm getting. Maybe a Pixaban. Maybe if that rings a bell. For some reason, I just, I don't think he ever liked BS. Like he didn't like any type of BS that people would tell him. He was very intelligent. So he saw through people he did. No one could fool him, I've, I'm feeling. Maybe the letter CJ, or maybe they used to call him that. I'm going to pull in a couple more initials. So we have the letter H, and we have the letter D. So some of those initials may resonate. He could have also lived in an apartment as well, maybe like a, for older people as well. 
So I'm going to pull some channel messages as well for you. So he was older when he had passed away, so like I said, maybe in the 70s. I feel he was a very lean guy. He wasn't a big guy at all. He was more slender. So we have eight months. So maybe this, maybe he only died maybe eight months ago. So we have the name Benjamin. So that may resonate with some people as well. So it says you will get through this. So he wants you to know you'll get through this. You'll get through his passing. So then we also have a business owner. So maybe he was a business owner when he was younger as well. That's what he did. Maybe he had a business. So I'm going to pull some charms now for you. So we have this, the anchor wheel, the ship wheel here. So maybe you guys used to like to go on the boats together. Maybe you used to watch boats dock. I feel that he could have lived near the waters, like I said, near the ocean somewhere. But he's an angel watching over you. He, he was the type of guy he would never turn his back on you no matter what he was going through in his life. He wants you to know that you're always there for him and you guys had each other's backs. There's big changes coming too. So for some of you, you might have a baby soon. So if you guys are trying to have a baby, they're letting you, he's letting you know that you will have a child here. And it's just going to, you're going to be so in love. Like he was such a peacekeeper in the family, just so loving, so caring, so calm. And he wants you to know, you know what? Just take care of yourself and one day you'll see each other again and you and just you guys will meet and just listen to the messages that he is sending out to you and just pay attention to everything in your dreams because he's trying to send you a message and communicate with you in that way. So this is all the messages that I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.